Hi, Silvia. Hi, teacher. How are you? A little sick, sorry. Uh, <gasps> yesterday, for that reason, I came uh, staying um, at class. And today, uh, this day, I have a meeting to, oh. seven, to, to seven to to seven. From seven? Uh, oh, the, to seven at <laughs> at night. For that reason, I was in class. Oh, only. all right. Oh, yeah, I see. All right, very good. All right, Silvita, is there anything I can do for you, Silvita? Any uh, special so, question? <laughs> yes, it's the two questions, mm -hmm. no, three. The okay. First, <laughs> sorry, teacher. Uh, uh, I don't work on the platform to mm. right now because uh, oh, since Sunday, I, I, I am sick. Oh, okay. I understand. Um, my work is, uh, I have a work to very late right now. Mm -hmm. I work. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Silvita. Okay. Sorry, but I, uh, how, how, what, how long time have to uh, answer the platform? Uh, the thing, Silvita, is that you're supposed to be working on the tareas as like daily basis, all right? So um, every Saturday, I take the, um, I look at the uh, progress that you have made. So every weekend, you should have finished the unit that we are in, all right? So for example, this Saturday, I'm going to be checking unit three or section three all right Saturday I have to do four four mm -hmm. you have to work on section one section two and the uh, midterm and section three Sylvia the next week we have class yeah next week is the last week we, we will finish on the fourth of September next week Oh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, next uh, question is, is in, um, uh, how do you think about my pronunciation of my expression in English? Uh, it's I good, Silvita. I, ha I have to, to, to improve. Uh, or, yeah. All right. What do you think? A recommendation for me? Sylvia, you're doing really well. I mean, it's it's nice every time you speak, I understand everything you say and everything. So you're like doing really well. Of course, we need to improve, all right? And I, last week, I was um, giving the same advice to some of your classmates. I recommend for you to do like listening, all right? Because that makes you um, like listen to native English, to people that speak English, like native speakers, all right? So that helps you improve not only your listening, but also your speaking and your vocabulary, all right? So I think you should do a little bit of listening to improve even more, Sylvia, all right? So, and then speaking as much as you can also helps you. the audio to the audio that you shared with us today was very difficult it was i know yeah. i know it was very difficult all right but that is i mean the purpose is not to have difficult audios the purpose is to expose you to different uh mm -hmm. type of accents and the way they speak all right because that is what it's all about you know for you to be able to understand them because that's real English, all right? And that's everyday English kind of thing, all right? So it is difficult, all right? So I do recommend for you to like do a lot of listening in internet, Sylvia, there's a lot of uh, sites that you can visit or that you can actually like download, all right? Uh, and some of them are, they have the listening and then they have like quizzes to see if you have understood about the listening, all right? So try to look for those, they will help you a lot, all right? And, and, and again, I mean, listening is a very difficult skill to acquire, all right? Don't feel, you know, some, sometimes people feel like sad or frustrated that they didn't really understand everything they were listening to, but that's what it is, you know? It's difficult to understand. 
If you have time, Sylvia, also like watching movies in English will help you a lot. And if you can have the subtitles in English as well, you're not only listening, but you're also reading. All right, and you're seeing the word and you hear the pronunciation. So that can help you. Okay, thank you. And the last question is, if this, this session is, is, a, 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 is a obligation to do, is part of the, of the schedule? This right um, now? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it is not an obligation for you, but it's, uh, it's your time, you know, it's a special time for you to have. You only have it once a, in a module, in a, in a course, all right? Uh, Some people, only, yeah. only once, I, yes, yes. I mean, the previous uh, Wednesdays, everybody has been scheduled. So today was, for example, your turn. You, it won't happen next week, all right? And it didn't happen the previous week. It's only these 10 minutes, all right, that you are supposed to, like, take advantage of because they, they are for you, you know? So in case you have any questions, uh -huh or you just want to talk in English and stuff. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's um, part of the program. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's, it's only that, that okay. question. Thank you for, right. for your, your, your class is very good. Uh, thank you, you I, I am learning very, very well. All right, thank, thank you. you. Yes, all yeah, right. Continue next. <laughs> yes, of course. And if you need help with the platform, Sylvia, let me know, okay? I can help you on, on the weekend, all right? Work, I'm okay. going to work these days and the weekend. I... Yes, please do. All right, thank you. Thank you. Teacher. All right, Sylvita, bye. Good night. Take care. Hi, Verito. 
Hi, sir. Good evening. How are Good you? Good evening again. <laughs> I am fine, teacher. A little bit worried. Why? It's raining. Oh, it's raining. Yes. <laughs> it's raining here in San Miguel. Oh, really? Is it raining very hard? Yes. Yeah, I can hear. I can hear, it's very loud. It's supposed, it's a tropical storm. Oh, really? Yes. Probably, eh? Because it was raining very hard today. Yes. Hey, I was, is, um, how do you say, do you also in English? Rainy. Rainy, yes. It's, it's very rainy, I would say. Yeah, it's raining cats and dogs. Yeah, today in the afternoon, it was crazy. It began raining like about four and it did not stop like about seven. All right, it was really, really raining. All right, Everito, is there anything I can do for you? Any questions that you have or any anything, Verito? No, teacher. I don't have a question about the topic. I think it's uh, the topic that we are we we have seen. It's in this moment. I think it's clearly for for me. All right. My problem, I think is my problem is that when I am speaking in English, uh -huh. I forget, forget the vocabulary and I yeah. can't think in English. <laughs> yeah, I know, Verito, but it's yes. difficult. But you know what? You're doing really, really well, Vero. I mean, yeah. Yes, but my goal is to improve my English in a, in a high level. <laughs> I yes. know, Benito. Yes. But you know what? I mean, it's just a matter of practicing, you know, and, and practice, practice, practice. Yes, yesterday I was speaking with a, a friend who lives in, in Canada. Uh-huh. And I say, and I say to him that I, that I feel worried because I think that I, I, I can learn English. And he told me, don't worry, you only use, you only practice. That's right, yeah. That's yes. the only thing you have to do, Vero, practice it. And if you have a friend in Canada, eh, you can practice with this person because that's going to make you improve your English. Yes. To this, to the um, level that you are now, Verito, you really need to practice it. If I mean, because you already know it. All right. It's just a matter of practicing and getting better at it. Yes. Um, practice and, and read a lot in English. That's right. And listen to many things in English, movies, songs, uh, whatever you can. Like, for example, the videos I present to you. All right, they are short, short videos usually. Today was longer, but I mean, those help you improve your listening. And if you improve your listening, you improve your speaking. All right, yes. because it's, it's a chain, Vero. Yes, teacher. And in, in how long time you, you stay in Canada? Nine, nine years. Nine years. Oh. And why you come back to El Salvador? Oh, because it was a, ma a family decision. We had to come back. Uh, mm -hmm. Wow, my yeah. year is it's a lot. Of, it's, it's a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. It was a long time, yes. Yeah. Mm. It was That's a nice a experience. Yes, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and... I don't know what else 
how to tell you this. So tell me about your French. How did you decide to learn French? Uh, please repeat. How did you, like, how long have you been studying French for? Oh, I, I'm taking class about one year, but okay. I'm taking only on Saturdays. Saturdays. Okay. Yes. But my problem is too that I, I only study only the day that I have the class. Oh my goodness, Verito, yeah. what happened? <laughs> I don't study during the week. Right. Well, and that's the, and the uh -huh. same it happened with the English. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because um, I I take her class in the in the CCS. Uh huh. And in the same. I only study when I take the class. Oh, Verito. Yes. Yeah. Well, because it's difficult because you work. Yes, because I work and sometimes I, <clears throat> before the, the, the quarantine, mm -hmm. I come back at my home about the 7 p.m. Oh, okay. And I Very feel, late. Tired. Yeah, and I feel tired and I don't have, uh, um, how do you say, ganas? Yeah, you didn't feel like studying. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, yeah. It's difficult. Yes, sometimes it's difficult. Yeah, so mm -hmm. what time are you coming home now? Now I, I am coming at 5, 5 o'clock. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. nice. Now, Vero, are you taking the public transportation now or is your office still giving you transportation? No, the office, they oh. are giving the transportation. Oh, that's good. But only this week finished the... Oh, my goodness. The benefit. <laughs> yes, finish the benefit. Oh, and my goodness. probably the next week we are going to take the public transportation. Right. That's a scary, huh? Yes. Yes, because uh, sometimes the, the buses are crowded. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the people didn't say the, the measure about... The measurements, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How is San Miguel with this COVID-19 thing? How is San Miguel doing with the COVID-19? Are there many people infected? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, in my company, uh, five co-workers uh, were, were sick. sick. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they are okay. They are okay, yes. Mm. But right. we are taking the nation. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, you have to. I mean, we all have to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's difficult when people don't want to believe what's happening. It's real. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. difficult. Yeah. And yes, then it's, it's also difficult for children because they really don't understand what's going on. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I think it's, if you uh, try to explain uh, the children, Mm -hmm. probably they, they yeah. understand the situation right yeah mm -hmm. I mean they do understand it but they're children you know and and I don't know they get carried away when they go outside <laughs> yes it's difficult yeah it is mm -hmm. very difficult yeah yes. now is, is San Miguel like all the businesses in San Miguel are reopening or not everybody's outside yet uh, i think the majority yes are open okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow in my in my case during the the last month i only go at, at the work mm -hmm. and come back at my home right mm -hmm. only that yeah of course and yeah. i and i'm going to buy at the Grocery uh -huh. here, near. Right, 
Okay. Yes, I don't like to go at the supermarket. I know it's dangerous. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, in my case, Berito, everything, all my teaching, like I teach at university and everything, all my teaching is online, right? I don't have to go out teach anywhere. So I'm teaching from home. All of my classes that I teach, I teach from home. All right. So in a way, it's better, much better. Yes, much better. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I have a, a friend who lives in Guatemala. Okay. And he works in a bank. Okay. And uh, from the the quarantine start, mm. she only works from her from home. Right. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she told me that he don't go out. She only go out one one time in the month. Oh, month. really? Right. Yes. Yeah 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 in my case i i do the shopping i mean i do the grocery shopping so i try to go like every every week and a half i go out but after that i'm at home and and my husband is also a teacher so he's at home too you know so all my family is at home my kids my husband and i were home <laughs> Your husband teaching English too. No, no, he teaches uh, language arts, lenguaje y literatura, uh -huh. and music. Uh -huh. So nice. he, he's teaching from home too. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, I, I take the, how uh, do you say I can teach. Ah. Oh. I can think because I I say that I took the I took the the diploma para poder dar clases. Ah right, okay. Yes, but I think I I am bad teacher. I why very <laughs> why? Because I think it's difficult to me teach. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think uh, when I explain something, I think I can. No me voy a entender. Oh, okay. You you don't make yourself understood. Yes. All right. Yeah. I don't have the techniques. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Teaching is not something that is easy. Yes. Yeah, you have to have the uh, the passion, you have to have the technique, you have to have mm -hmm. you know, experience also. So it's 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 nice. I like teaching. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um I don't know what else you said. What time was uh what time was your um your time slot of um for your class? At the 10 minutes, only 10 minutes. Yeah, well, yeah, all right, okay, yeah. What if we were doing fine, Verito? Only that teacher. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Verito. I'll oh, see you nice tomorrow. Time. You too, bye, rest. Resting, bye, teacher. Bye.